Doctors and nurses of Reddit, have you ever witnessed a couple that have a child that was obviously not the father's? If so, what happened? Not a doctor slash nurse, but my ex-girlfriend delivered a baby while I was in the delivery room, and it turns out it wasn't mine. She was 16, I was 15. All along, I was under the impression that this kid was mine and took time to be an adult. I took all the classes, read the books, worked every night slash weekend to save whatever money I could as a 15-year-old. I finally get the call she's in labor, so I have somebody rush me to the ER. Luckily for her, it wasn't a long labor, only about six hours, but there was a complication. The baby came out with the umbilical cord wrapped around its neck. Doctor assured us it was going to be okay, but the nurses were prepping for things to go south. Baby comes out, it's a light shade of purple, and the nurses immediately take the baby and put the smallest mask you have ever saw to help it get oxygen, I guess. I was too panicked to ask a lot of questions. They state they need to keep the baby on watch overnight, so I stay in the room with the ex. The next evening, baby is back in the room with us, and all seems well. The ex is asleep, and the same nurse from the night before comes into the room and beckons me out. She states that at the risk of losing her job, she has to break some harsh news to me. That kid is not mine. She stated that, well, at this stage, it wasn't obvious. Over the next few weeks, it would become clear this kid was mixed. And since we were both white, it was a high probability that it wasn't mine. Cue a mixed bag of emotions, and me promptly waking the ex to get a little clarification. Come to find out, she knew the chances, and was just hoping it was mine because it apparently worked better for her? Her father was old school racist, and she didn't want to have to deal with that. I left the hospital to collect my thoughts, and a few weeks later was served child support papers. One DNA test, and about six weeks later, I am 0.0% that kid's father. Wherever that nurse is now, I hope your life is amazing. I understand that you were not supposed to get involved in the personal side of things, and to keep it professional, but you saved me a lot of additional headache. Story 2. My fiancé's father is almost certainly not his biological dad. His mom was just a genuinely terrible human being who didn't even try to hide the fact that she was cheating. But his dad loved him from the second he was born, and when the mom decided four years later that she just didn't want the kid anymore, she just gave him to the dad and rode off. Jay's dad ended up getting married, and they tried for kids before finding out his sperm count was too low to ever father children. They ended up adopting many years later. He sat my fiancé down when my fiancé was 13 and told him the truth, that if Jay wanted to test, they would, but it was up to him. Jay cried and told him that he just wanted him to be his dad, and that was the end of that. Edit, I had originally put real dad instead of biological dad. Changed it when several people pointed out that the man who raised him is most certainly his real dad. Story 3. I know a girl who is pregnant with her boyfriend's best friend's baby. He found out there was a possibility about a week before she gave birth. I went up to see her once he was born, and he looked just like the friend. There was no question. I broke the news to her boyfriend, and he was absolutely devastated. His parents were heartbroken and super pissed. They had bought the girl everything she needed, including a $500 car seat slash stroller set. She refused to give anything back. She started up a relationship with the friend immediately after having their child and they're still together a decade later. But the kicker for me has always been that the boyfriend and best friend were next door neighbors. She moved into his house after coming home from the hospital, so her ex-boyfriend and his family had to see them every day raising this child that they had believed to be his for the entire pregnancy. I can't even imagine. Story 4. I had a vasectomy. While chatting with the doctor, he told me about another patient. This guy had three kids and came in for the snip snip because he and his wife decided they were done having children. The doc opened up his sack and found nothing to snip. This guy was born without the ability to have any children. The poor doctor had to explain to him what happened. Imagine finding out that way. Story 5. I worked as a lab tech before I became a nurse. We had a set of twins in the NICU that were super early, and the mom was still in the OR getting sewed up from the cesarean. I was drawing baby B's blood when mom was wheeled over to baby A's isolate. She was crying and said, Oh, thank God you're not black. I've been so worried the last seven months. So newborn babies, especially when they're born early, are very pink, almost red. So even if a baby was part black, their skin isn't necessarily dark yet. But looking at these babies, it was obvious they were going to be black. The shape of the face, the texture of the hair, and baby B that I was working on had an intense Mongolian spot. 
A few weeks later, my NICU nurse friend told me that the babies were now on a no-info status, meaning security alert. Can't give anyone information about them, can't refer to them by name, etc. She said there was a huge fight because the mom's husband, white guy, obviously noticed that the babies were half black and that the mom had cheated on him and got pregnant. The real dad, black guy, came in and didn't even realize the mom was married. Those poor babies. Story 6. I had the opposite happen, sort of. My wife and I are both brown-skinned, dark-haired, half-Mexicans, and our moms are both 100% white blondes with blue and green eyes. So we sort of knew it was a crapshoot with our baby, but the nurse who was assisting with the delivery had no idea. At one point, she gets sort of nervous and calls for help, and another, I guess, more senior nurse came in and nodded and came over to talk to me. I thought there was something wrong with the baby, as she comes over and stumbles through some questions, so I was the father and no one else was coming, etc. Then, finally, she awkwardly asks if either of us happened to be blonde growing up. I said, yeah, I was, and both the baby's grandparents are blonde as they come. And this wave of relief went over her, and she brought me over to see this blonde as hell crowning baby head. It's funny, because he looks just like me if you apply to Gringo Instagram filter. We often get awkward questions about his heritage, and my wife always hits them with a, yeah, we're not sure if he's mine. It's always funny to see people nod for a moment and then go, wait, what? Story 7. Had a college buddy whose fiancé was pregnant. They were the perfect couple. Both had just over a year of great career starting out. Everything was butterflies and rainbows. Fast forward to the delivery room. They're in there, and out comes a very black baby. He's quite the pale redhead, and she's blonde, blue-eyed Texas girl. He made sure everyone was okay, waited for her parents to arrive, and left without saying a word. He moved all his stuff out of the house while she was in the hospital and cut off all communications with her, just walked out of their lives in the most stone-cold act I'd ever seen. They were together for nine years, and he just quit cold turkey. She tried to contact him at his job a few times, but he quickly moved up the ladder and eventually got a job in another city. He told me once he already took solace in the fact that her family had already dropped about 10k in a wedding, that never happened. Story 8. I used to work with a guy whose wife was pregnant. Near time for delivery, everyone at our place of business had a big party with gifts, money, etc. So, the big day comes. The water breaks, they get into the car to go to the hospital. She breaks the news on the way there, it's not his. The kid is another race, and if he could just drop her off at the hospital and then leave, that would be great. He took a few days off work, found a new apartment, moved out, filed divorce, etc. He called into work and told someone what happened. News spread pretty fast. All congratulations cards, etc. were cleaned up and thrown away. Everyone was very sensitive to his pain. Except, somehow, I don't know how, I did not get the news. So on his first day back, I walked into the office he shared with six to seven other guys and said, Hey, hey, daddy-o, how's fatherhood so far? Getting any sleep? Got some pictures? Let's see the little tyke. He slowly lifted his head to look at me with a painful look. The room was dead silent. One of his workmates stood up, grabbed my arm, and walked me out of the room, shushing me. What happened? I asked. Did it die? What's the problem? When he told me, I about died myself. I still feel bad for the dude, and it's been 30 years. Story 9. I worked with this guy a few years back. Him and his wife were pregnant. They were super excited and shared the news with everyone and put stuff all over social media. So fast forward a few months, and the kid is unfortunately stillborn. They had a professional photographer come to the hospital, and they did a series of photos, holding the baby, dressing it up, kissing it on its head, you know, usual newborn photos. The bizarre thing is they put them all on Facebook. I found it kind of morbid, but... Whatever, I've never lost a kid, so it's cool. One day, at work, a guy from a different branch comes into the store and congratulates my co-worker. Slaps him on the back and says all the stereotypical new dad small talk BS. My co-worker informs him the baby was dead. The other guy refuses to believe it and keeps saying, F you man, quit messing with me. I saw the pictures on Facebook. They go back and forth and the guy finally realizes he's not being messed with. That was the most uncomfortable exchange I have ever seen between two humans. Story 10. Coworker of mine is a notorious compulsive liar, and we all know better than to believe a word that comes out of her mouth. But I hope like hell that this story is true because it is so good. So, this coworker, who is 19, is bi. Her wife is not, was her best friend from childhood. When they were both 18, the best friend proposed to her because she wanted the stability of a relationship. Coworker agreed, they got married, but they both then decided they couldn't live without sex, so they worked out an open marriage. The only caveat was they had to tell each other who they were sleeping with and when, and they had to be smart about it all. 
Well, wife comes to co-worker one day and tells her that they're going to have a baby. Co-worker says that is pretty much impossible since they both only have half the baby-making equipment. Co-worker has also not heard that the wife has been sleeping with anyone recently. Wife is then forced to admit that she's been having an unmentioned affair with the co-worker's twin brother, and that since he's the only man she's sleeping with, he's the father. Co-worker calls her lawyer that day, and lawyer has divorce papers drawn up by 9 p.m. to serve the wife the next day. I was about 70% on board with this story, because, again, we're dealing with a no compulsive liar up until that detail. This all went down on a Sunday. I'll admit that I don't know much about lawyers, but I doubt they're going to prioritize a 19-year-old's divorce papers over enjoying their weekend. The best part was that I went on break about 5 minutes after she did, and she was on a phone call, or pretended to be on one with her lawyer for half her break. None of this was ever mentioned again. Story 11. I used to work in the newborn nursery at the hospital. We got the babies right from delivery, cleaned them up, footprinted them, checked vitals, etc. Dads usually came in with the newborns. This dad comes in with this baby. Dad is white. Mom is white. Baby is obviously not white. The dad was very quiet, standing next to this baby, watching us clean it up. He says quietly, I don't think this is my baby. You could tell he was absolutely devastated. We advised him not to sign the birth certificate until he was sure. Not sure what happened after we sent the baby back out to mom, but I felt awful for the guy. Story 12. Happened to my fiancé's mom. His mom is a labor and delivery nurse. One time she had a patient whose parents were present during her stay at the hospital. The staff there have a whiteboard with some general information about the patients, like blood type, time spent in the wing, and how far along. This information is nameless for HIPAA reasons, and instead has a patient's number. So this patient happened to be the only one in the wing at the time. Her father was walking back from the cafeteria at one point and noticed the board. He stopped one of the nurses and asked if the blood type for the patient on the board was correct. He knew his daughter was the only patient there. It was B+. The nurse confirmed it was correct. Turns out, he knew his and his wife's blood types. He was O positive, and his wife was A negative. This combination will never yield a B positive baby. He brings his wife out and just points at this board, and this look of shock washes over her. Story 13. I'm a nurse, but this didn't happen to me. Friend of mine got pregnant in high school. She claimed it was our local doctor's son's kid, so he agreed to deliver his grandchildren for free. Child delivered, and it was obviously half African American. Doctor's son and girl were both white. I think he still delivered for free, as he was relieved his 14-year-old son wasn't a dad. Story 14. Worked in the army hospital on Fort Lewis. A woman came in for belly pain, and we found out and told her she was 10 weeks pregnant. The husband at the bedside started laughing, grabbed his coat, and left the room, explained to us that he had been in Afghanistan until three weeks ago. He looked back at her and just said, Well, that's Brittany. I always liked how classily he left her while she just stared silently off into space. Story 15. Not quite sure what you're asking, but in the same vein. I'm a nurse in a level 4 neonatal ICU. We service the sickest of the sick from our state and the surrounding states, so we see it all. We had a baby that was sick as snot. Lo and behold, we discovered its blood slash spinal fluid, etc. was septic with herpes. In most babies, we avoid this by treating the herpes while the mom is pregnant. In this case, the mom didn't even know she was a carrier, so where did it come from? This was the awkward and sickening moment where everyone in the room realized where it came from. Turns out the father had an affair and contracted the virus from his lover. So yeah. While this woman's baby is on the verge of death, she finds out her husband has been cheating on her and his cheating ass is the reason their baby is sick. Story 16. My best friend was dating a girl and knocked her up. They got engaged and planned to get married right after the baby was born. There were about 10 of us in the waiting room, waiting for her to crank out the baby. It was essentially her parents, his were in another state, some of her friends, and some of ours. After sitting there for about two hours, he walks out with a smirk on his face and says, Let's go. We all thought something horrible had happened. His friends ask how the baby is, and he says, Fine, but black. He mentioned for us to go, so we followed him. In the parking garage, he tells us to follow him to his apartment. Then he sends me a text asking if I could put him up for a while. We literally moved him out of his apartment and into my spare bedroom and in like an hour tops. Her parents didn't know who to be mad at. The confusion on their faces when he told them the baby was black was priceless. Story 17. I am a nurse working in labor and delivery. Most of the time, if the mom thinks the baby may not be her boyfriend slash husband's, they will just have their friend slash sister slash mom with them there for the delivery and have the dad come to the hospital slash room after seeing the baby. No guarantees because babies can change a lot over a couple weeks. Many African-American babies have a very light skin when they are born and it gets darker. 
I have had a PT's husband get very upset about the baby being too light. They were both black until his mom smacked him and told him that's what he looked like when he was born. Recently, I had something I thought was interesting happen. Girl comes in in labor with her boyfriend, sister, and a friend. Boyfriend doesn't seem too engaged during the process, but that's not uncommon. Baby is born and is fine. Sister sends dad to get some stuff. Note here, all people involved are Hispanic and only speak Spanish. My specific medical Spanish is pretty decent and I can get you through an epidural or delivery. You know, most things that come up pretty well, but I am not fluent. So as soon as the dad leaves, the sister is like, I have a question for you, and then proceeds to say something I can't understand at all. I tried to clarify, but I'm just not getting it. I offer to go get the translator. She's like, no, I don't want it to be official. She whips out her phone and through Google Translate asks, how can we get a paternity test in the hospital? I then have to explain we don't really do that, but you can get one at CVS. They tell me that the baby doesn't look like the other child of this mom and this guy, and that it might be someone else's, but they want to check before telling him. So I just apologize and tell them how they can get a DNA test at CVS and they're like $50. This isn't the first time I've been asked about paternity testing, I just had no idea how to say it in Spanish. Story 18. Kinda off topic, but I gotta give my friend credit for doing something I don't think I could ever do. Found out after being married and having a three and one year old, his wife had been cheating on him. Multiple times with multiple men. Everyone is white though, so no obvious signs. Anyway, he finds that there is a chance neither of the kids are his. He buys two paternity tests. He brought them home, but then the horrible conclusion hit him. He was prepared if they were his. He was prepared if they weren't. He had no idea what to do if one was and one wasn't. So he threw the tests away. They divorced. She keeps seeing people for short times and he is now remarried to a fantastic person. Story 19. Not a doctor, but a distant cousin of mine definitely has children that don't belong to the father. My cousin was adopted as an infant and was essentially a crack baby. She struggled with some developmental issues and has a low IQ compared to most, but can still live on her own with little to no issues. She, a white woman, married a Latino guy, really dark brown skin, several years ago, and they had a son together who has dark hair, dark skin, and dark eyes. He is easily identified as their son. The real trouble happens years later. Her husband, who we'll call Javier, has some IQ issues of his own. Just a little slow when it comes to tasks and reasoning. Anyway, Javier is in the military and gets deployed internationally for about six months. When he comes home, his wife is about four months pregnant. You do the math. He still believes the baby is his own, even after it's born with pale skin and blonde hair and blue eyes. If that wasn't bad enough, it happens again two years later with another baby. Same blonde hair and blue eyes. Everyone knows she slept with a different man. It was actually her high school boyfriend. But Javier still thinks the children are his. It's kind of sad, but at this point, there's not much you can do. He raised the kids as his own. Story 20. If you guys are enjoying this thread, you should watch Lauren Lake's paternity court on TV. My favorite case was one where the female spent almost the entire 25 minutes going over all this proof that the kid was his, using facial similarities, swearing up and down, and even bringing in witnesses, at least, that she was of a good character and wouldn't cheat. She even straight insulted the guy, saying how crappy he is if he denies his child and won't grow up, etc. Through all of this, the guy just stood there quietly, not saying a word, not defending himself, nothing. Finally, the judge asks if he has anything to say or would like to plead his case. He motions to the one thing on his desk, a manila folder. Plaintiff takes it to the judge. She opens it, reads for a minute, then dismisses the case in favor of the guy. Turns out he had been deployed overseas in Afghanistan during the year before and during the entire pregnancy and birth. He came home after four years and was introduced to his two-year-old child. Story 21. Neither a doctor or a nurse, but a good friend of mine was out of the country on emergency with his work, and I ended up bringing his wife to the ER. My friend and I are, even still, best friends, and all of us went to high school together, and I had no idea his wife was unfaithful. However, I was in the delivery room as she didn't want to be without anyone there. Baby came out straight Asian. I knew, the OB knew, I just walked out of the room then. All I could hear was her wailing, saying her marriage is over, and the nurses quickly picked up on why she was crying. I called him and told him the news. He explained to his work that a true emergency was at home, so they chartered him a flight home, and he filed for divorce right then and there. During the divorce, out of their three kids, zero were my friends. It didn't just mess my friend up, it messed the kids up as well because they knew him as daddy. The court tried to make my friend pay support for these kids who weren't his because they became accustomed to it. And the dad abandonment was borderline criminal. He had zero biological attachment. 
Family courts are so biased against men. My friend spent a fortune fighting it out of principle and eventually won. It emotionally ruined him and now he doesn't trust women. He won't go on dates or anything because of it. I can't even say I blame him because it is beyond messed up. Story 22. Obligatory not a nurse or doctor. My brother told me this story about a man he used to work with. Brother's work friend is from Eastern European country and came to US many, many moons ago and started his family here. One of his sons meets a nice girl. They plan to get married, but life happens and then more life ends up coming out of them. Whole big family is excited about a new baby. Father-to-be is ecstatic. They have a small ceremony before the baby is born, yada yada. Delivery time comes and out pops this little boy who is about 50 shades darker than either parent and new dad absolutely loses his mind. In this heartbroken rage, he accuses his new bride of cheating on him, disowns his child, and rages right out of the delivery room, leaving new mom alone with her mountain of shame. This guy returns to his family and continues his hate-filled rampage, and exclaims to his family that his whore of a wife had cheated on him because the baby looked nothing like him in skin tone. The family is shocked, never would have believed this sweet young thing would do that to their son. Absolute shame and misery all around. Well, sitting in a dark little corner of the room, little tiny grandma chirps up and has a story to tell. During some war or another, she had a great summer with a French soldier. A black French soldier. She got pregnant and he got sent home. And back then you kept the baby and hoped your family didn't murder you before you could abandon it somewhere. She ended up meeting her husband shortly after getting pregnant and things just progressed as if it was his child. And wouldn't you know, the thing popped out white as snow and she breathed a sigh of relief because this was going to be the easiest lie to keep ever. So this poor bastard has been carrying around this super melanin gene his whole life and got his wife pregnant and it decided to all come out on his sweet little boy who he now has to go crawling back and reclaim. Thankfully, the whole family went with him to the hospital. Old grandma had a picture of her old fella as proof and husband and wife were reunited. Story 23. I was blood typing a newborn once. Mom was an O positive and baby was AB positive, which is more or less not possible. I immediately panicked because Jesus God, they mixed up the babies. Someone had the wrong baby. We're gonna get sued. They're gonna have to genetically test the entire nursery. What if they subpoena me for being the idiot who discovered the problem? I don't have insurance. What if they sue me? After repeating the test three times, I called the floor and told them that they'd either drawn the wrong baby's blood or they switched babies because mom couldn't be the baby's mother. Lol, no, it was a donor egg. The redraw matched fine. Everyone was where they were supposed to be. Oh God, my heart though.